Hello everyone, today I am doing my top 18 polishes in 2018. Josephine from Polish Talk reached out to me on Instagram and asked me if I wanted to be part of this collaboration with her and a few other ladies. And I said, of course, this sounds so fun. At first I was a little scared because I didn't think I could think of 18 polishes. But then once I got going, I was scared because I didn't think I would be able to stop picking polishes. But the polishes I have chosen for this are not necessarily new polishes in the year 2018. That meaning like uh, new brand launches or new polishes that were specifically new in 2018. Do you get what I mean? Just so you know, I am doing these in no particular order. These are just polishes that I have loved. Some for the summertime, some just recently that I found. But I have a bunch in here and then I have a bunch on my table here. So let's go through them. I take that back. Um, I can undoubtedly say that this polish is my absolute favorite for the year 2018. And that has to be Chloris de Carol. Don't look behind you. I cannot tell you guys how much I love this polish, how excited I am for it, and how I cannot wait to create more manis using this. And just the whole concept of this colored polish transforming to a clear one, I think is amazing. And it is, is my absolute favorite for the year 2018. I can honestly say that and not even have a doubt in my mind. I know this polish is my favorite it beat out Jenna Hibbs Better Slate Than Never, which I never thought would happen. That is my all-time favorite polish. But then along came Pretty Serious, Messenger of the Titans, and that was really close to that one. But this polish blew both of them out of the water. I love it so much. So that was Clarissa Carroll's Don't Look Behind You. Next up I have Zoya's Aurora. This is part of their Scattered Holographic uh, collection. This one has to be my favorite from the Scattered Holographic, um, basically because it's one of three of the purple tones, but this one has more pink in it, and I think that's why I love it so much. I am a die-hard fan for pink polish, and that is what makes this one of my top polishes for 2018. So that was Zoya's Aurora. Next up we have Pretty Serious Messenger of the Titans. This one was a polish that I discovered in 2018. Um, like I mentioned before, this one kind of pushed uh, Jenna Hips Better Slate Than Never aside a little bit. This one has way more of that uh, pink flash in there. Ugh, I still think this is just absolutely gorgeous, but I firmly stand by Clarissa Carroll's Don't Look Behind You being my all-time favorite polish of this year. This polish is very beautiful and I did wear it quite a bit since I picked it up from them and I'm very sad that uh, Pretty Serious is no longer a business because now this beautiful polish that I fell in love with took Jenna Hips Better Slate Than Ever, which I was paranoid that that was going to run out because it's just a little teeny tiny bottle. Now I'm freaking out thinking, I can't use this polish because it's going to run out. But it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. That was Pretty Serious Messenger of the Titans. Next one I pulled out here is Simple Colors Starfish. This polish completely surprised me. I had no idea I was going to love it as much as I did. Um, I thought it was kind of plain and not really anything special. But when I put this on, the way this looks on my hands, I love it. It's a very pretty nudie kind of pink color, almost fleshy color, but it has just enough pink in it to make it stand out a little bit from my skin tone. I think this is really pretty. I loved how it looked on my hands. And that was Simple Colors Starfish. The next polish is by OPI and this is Susie Chase's Portuguese. This is a beautiful white polish, but it has just enough kind of gray in it. 
It's comparable to, I would say, my boyfriend Scales Walls, but a slight difference. But this polish is a beautiful polish. I don't think it was new this year, but it was new to me this year, and I really enjoyed wearing it. Very pretty polish. And that was OPI's Susie Chase's Portuguese. <laughs> The next polish I really loved wearing this year was one that I created myself. Um, I was on the lookout for a pink polish with some brown flakies in it and um, I wasn't really able to find exactly what I wanted. One of my subscribers reached out to me and let me know that there was an indie polish brand out there that would help you create your own custom polish. After a bunch of emailing, back and forth, pictures, inspiration, and exactly what I was looking for, we were able to come up with my perfect pink polish that was inspired by my daughter's baby blanket, and that was Joy Lacquer. She also let me name it, and one of the cute things when my daughter was little, um, whenever I would feed her, she would make a squealing kind of noise, and I called her my little piglet. So I actually named this Piglet, I am in love with this polish. It is absolutely perfect in every single way. So this is another one of my favorite polishes that not only did I wear during this year, but I also created. I am so happy about that. I think that is just the awesomest thing and I love showing people that I created this polish. It may not have my name and the brand, but I created this polish. With the help of Joy Lacquer, this polish was made and I love it so much. I am so happy with it. And that is Joy Lacquer Piglet. Next up, I got to talk about Polish's Chamomile. Um, I got this last year, two years ago, I believe. And I wore it a few times, but this year, I wore the heck out of this polish. I love it. It's so beautiful. It's a white Crelly, and it has copper uh, flash in it and copper uh, flakies in here, and that's Polish's Chamomile. This next polish, although it is not new, it is new to me. I picked it up uh, the beginning of this year, I believe, like in March, I think, um, and that is Wet n Wild, and this is I Dream of Jean Genie. This is a polish that Jody from Jody's Polish turned me on to. It looks so beautiful in her swatches and she spoke so highly of it. I knew I had to go and get it and I searched for it, finally found it on Amazon and I was able to get it and she was not lying. This is a beautiful polish. I loved it. It's like a Denebi blue color with a hint of gray in it and it's got silver uh, glitter in it. This is so pretty. It looks so pretty on the nails. That glitter in there is just enough to give it a hint of something different. Very pretty. And that was Wet n Wild's I Dream of Jean Genie. Now we have a polish that I purchased this year from Polish Pickup. And this is my very first magnetic indie polish. And that is by Kathleen and Co. This one is called Colors of the Wind. The theme, I think, was musicals. And Pocahontas was the inspiration of this polish. And she could not have hit the nail more on the head. This is absolutely perfect. It reminds me so much of in the movie Pocahontas where she is singing the song Color of Colors of the Wind and all the leaves are floating around her. It is so beautiful and colorful and that is exactly what this polish is. It is a magnetic, so the magnetic pigments are that beautiful copper color. Oh, it looks gorgeous against this purple base. So pretty. And that was Kathleen and Co. Colors of the Wind. I'm discovering that a lot of the polishes that I wore this year are polishes that were kind of featured on or that I saw on other people's YouTube channels or Instagrams and I knew immediately that I had to have one too. Um, one of these polishes was Zoya's Kittredge. Heather D actually talked about this on I think her top Zoya picks or I'm not sure what video it is but she mentioned this polish and it was so beautiful. I immediately went on Zoya's website and searched for it and I was really frustrated because for the longest time it kept telling me this not available, not available and I realized that I was spelling it wrong 
the whole time. <laughs> so I was very sad. And then once I realized that I was spelling it wrong, it popped up right away that it was available. I loved wearing this in the spring to summertime. Just gorgeous, beautiful pink. I love pinks, so I knew I had to have this one. And seeing how Heather D praised this polish, absolutely knew I needed it. So that is Zoya's Kittredge. This next polish is one that is new to me this year, thanks to uh, other YouTubers talking about the For the Love of Polish Box. I decided that I wanted to be part of that, so I did subscribe to that each month. Polish and Polish for Days are included in the box, and then they have a guest creator that comes and creates a polish around the theme that is for that month. So this polish was included in my very first For the Love of Polish box, and this is Polish for Days Nightfall. This polish is so beautiful. Polish for Days is a new to me brand this year, and I have to admit, I love it. I think it's just a gorgeous brand. They come up with some great polishes. Ugh, absolutely fabulous. They have so many beautiful polishes, but also in Polish Pickup, For the Love of Polish creates beautiful polishes for those themes. Wow. And I actually picked up one from, uh, I think it was Horror Films, which was inspired by the film Coraline. To me, I didn't know that that was considered a horror film, but I guess if you're a kid watching it, it is pretty scary. I I guess I didn't think of that, but yeah, it's, it's pretty scary and confusing movie. <laughs> a little weird, but, but anyways, Polish for Days is an excellent brand. This polish here, I suck so bad at trying to explain what is in this bottle. If I just keep twisting it, it it's always something different. I just, I think I know, but then, oh, I move it and no, maybe not. I don't know. It's just really gorgeous. <laughs> All I got to say is this polish is absolutely beautiful. That's Polish for Days Nightfall. Next polish I actually picked up, I believe last month, my salon was having a sale on all of their OPI polishes, which they were $4, and you can bet your bottom, I snagged one of every single color that was available in my salon. One of them being this beautiful, dark, vampy purple. This is so pretty. This is such a gorgeous color. I love the way it looks on my hands. And this is called Viking in a Winter Wonderland. <laughs> Okay, but anyways, this polish is another one I absolutely loved wearing this year, and that's OPI's Viking in a Winter Wonderland. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this fall, I was on the hunt for my favorite uh, Halloween polish. What I was looking for was a white crelly with orange and black uh, glitter in it and I found it and I am so happy with it. This is by the brand Pampered Polish and it's called Zero. This was inspired by, uh, what is it, Jack from The Nightmare Before Halloween, his uh, ghost dog on there I guess. But this polish is absolutely what I wanted. I was so happy when I found this. This was my first Pampered Polish and I absolutely love it. So that was Pampered Polish Zero. Not too often do I go to my local Ulta, but I just happened to go in there to get a few bath bombs for my daughter and she has a shampoo and conditioner that she loves from there, which we get a huge bottle so it lasts forever so you don't have to run in there all the time. But she happened to run out so we had to go in there and I had to look around and I found this gorgeous polish. This is by Pacifica. It's called Milky Way. This is so pretty. It says crystal gloss on there. Look at that hollow in there. Oh, so pretty. I love this polish. This polish is amazing. I think this is fabulous. To, ooh, there's a hair. I think this is gorgeous and amazing to have that kind of hollow in a mainstream brand. So that is Pacifica's Milky Way.
Another polish that I picked up in that same trip is by Morgan Taylor. It says platinum on the front here, so I don't know how many there are that actually belong to this platinum collection. I'm not really sure. Um, my bottle, kind of the top here kind of cracked and peeled off, but I'm okay with that. It's not really about the bottle. This one is called It's Lit. Very pretty pink holographic polish. Now it's not quite as holographic as the Pacifica one there, but still very pretty. I really enjoy this polish this year and I'm very excited to see more mainstream brands kind of jumping on that holographic bandwagon. I think it's very cool. So that is Morgan Taylor's It's Lit. Next polish up here, I am so happy that I finally found. Um, I have been on the hunt for what I would consider my perfect Barbie pink and every polish that I have found is just not quite there lacking a little something and this one here immediately when I saw it I knew that is my perfect Barbie pink I need to have that polish and that's by the brand Define Inspire this is called Bachelor Nation it's exactly what I wanted in my perfect Barbie pink I think this is absolutely gorgeous this polish just looks really great in the summertime um, I did get it towards the end of summer but you can bet your buns I rocked it the entire time that I could thought this was absolutely gorgeous. That was Defy and Inspire Bachelor Nation. Next up is another polish by the brand Polish and this one is called Palm Tree Punch. This polish this summer was absolutely gorgeous. I'm not really a huge green polish wearer but this one I loved. I love the way this looked on my hands. My son absolutely loves this neon kind of uh, electric green color and he loved this when I wore it. He thought it was very cool. I really loved wearing this polish this year. So that was Polish's Palm Tree Punch. So those, so those were technically my top 18 for 2018, but we talked it over on Instagram and we decided that we would go ahead and include honorable mentions um, if we were not able to condense it down to just 18 polishes. I have to say that I needed to include these three polishes. Um, I just picked them up this month and I love them. I think they're all beautiful. First up, I know this polish is not a new release polish, but this is by the brand Simple Colors and it's called Feverish. This is a matte polish. I am not a huge matte fan. I think it's pretty, but I don't seek out mattes and I don't really think of doing manicures with matte polishes or turning polishes matte. I think it's pretty, but I'm more drawn towards the glossy, shiny polishes. But this polish, when I put it on, I love the matteness of this. It's not quite matte, like chalky matte. It's a very pretty kind of semi satiny matte really pretty and this color is amazing for the fall time here I thought this was very pretty and I'm very happy to have it that was simple colors fearless this next polish is by a brand that launched this year I am so proud of her congratulations Angie on launching your own polish brand uh, that is painted phalanges Mooney this polish launched in her very first collection, which was a Halloween collection. And I knew instantly when I saw her swatch this polish that I needed to pick this up. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I think this polish is a beautiful polish. And that whole Monster Mash or Monster Bash collection that she created, I think was a great way to start off the launch of her brand. I think it's awesome. But this polish in particular, I absolutely loved. I love this kind of grayish crelly with those blue glitters in there. I think this is so pretty. Formula of it is outstanding. Being that crelly, I was able to get it opaque in two coats and I think it just looked great on my nails. And that was Painted Phalanges Mooney. Next, this final polish I just picked up probably last week. Um, I happened to go into Walmart searching for a few extra things to add into my Christmas giveaways that I'm doing. And um, 
I saw these and I was like, oh no, Walmart, oh no, what'd you do? <laughs> I was kind of happy thinking that, okay, I avoided picking up any polishes from this collection so far. I haven't seen them. I knew if I wanted to get the collection, to order it online, wait for it to get here and all that business. And I just really didn't want to have to deal with that. But when I went into my Walmart, they sold it. And that's the China Glaze Grinch collection. Walmart, what? What is this? I had no idea that Walmart started carrying or was going to carry this uh, Grinch collection, let alone China Glaze. I, they do carry some OPIs, but I've never seen any China Glaze in my Walmart until this. And of course they had this huge, beautiful display of all of the polishes in this collection. And I picked up every single one. They're all really pretty, but this one here stood out to me from this collection. I love it. I think it's so pretty. It's kind of a uh, purpley polish, but there is a kind of red flash in here. Very pretty, very interesting. This is called You're a Mean One. Although I just picked this up a week ago, I think it's gorgeous and I absolutely love it. So that was China Glaze You're a Mean One. So those were my top 18, 21 polishes for 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave down below if you guys have any of these polishes, what your thoughts are on them. Also let me know what were some of your favorite polishes that you wore in 2018. I will leave down below the links for the other three ladies who were included in this top 18 polishes of 2018 collab. You guys can go and check out their top 18, possibly more polishes. Please leave any comments or suggestions below and I will see you in the next one.